So hello friends, it's JD here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel Technical Junaid. In today's video you'll learn how to install Wayne Android OS. But before starting the video, let me tell you what is Wayne OS. So Wayne OS is a Chrome OS based Android operating system. Means you will get similar features to Chrome OS. It is very lightweight and virus free operating system. And one important feature of this OS is, the Wayne OS is a portable operating system. Means you can install it on USB flash drive, and use it anywhere. Now let's move to the installation part of the Wayne OS. So first we have to download the Wayne operating system. To do that, open the web browser. And search for the Wayne OS in Google. Now open the link, which is wayne-os.com. Now scroll down to know more about Wayne OS. To download Wayne OS, simply click on the Release tab on the top menu. The Wayne OS download page is now opened. Now scroll down. As you can see here, this are the latest release of Wayne OS. And one important thing is to keep in mind, when downloading the Wayne OS, you have to download the Wayne OS release, according to the size capacity of the USB flash drive. Here in my case, I am downloading the stable release of the Wayne OS, which was released in the 9th of March 2021. The downloading process is same for all the release. So don't worry about downloading process. Follow the same steps to download any edition of Wayne OS. To download any edition, simply select the edition which you want to download by clicking on the continue reading. Once you clicked on continue reading, the page is automatically navigated to the download page of the selected version of the Wayne OS. Now here we have to select and download the release which is best suitable for the USB size capacity. So in my case, I have USB drive, which has only 8 GB capacity. So I have to find and identify the version, by its name. As you can see here, the label of this release is USB 8 GB, which means it is best for 8 GB USB drive. And this is best for 16 GB USB drive. This is suitable for 32 GB USB drive. Now I hope you understand how to identify the correct edition. Now let's download it. To download any edition, simply click on the link, which is given below in the selected edition. Once you clicked on the link, the download will start automatically. As you can see here, it is around 900 MB in size, so it will take some time. After downloading, follow the next steps. As you can see here, the Wayne OS file is in zip format, so first we have to extract it. You can extract it using WinRAR software. I also give the WinRAR link in the video description. Now the extraction process has started. It will take some time, so please be patient. Now the file is extracted successfully. Now we have to write this file to USB drive. So here we have to use the special tool for this process, because Rufus, Belina Etcher and other bootable media creation tool does not support this file. To download the tool, please make sure, you're using any Chromium based web browsers like, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, and etc. Because this tool does not work any other web browsers. Now open web browser and search for the Chrome extension in Google. Now open the link, which is chrome.google.com.
As you can see here, the Chrome Web Store is opened. Now go to the search box and search for the Chromebook Recovery Utility. Now click on the first search suggestion. Click on the Google Chromebook Utility extension. Make sure it is offered by Google. To install this extension, simply click on Add to Chrome. Now click on Add Extension. It will take some time for the installation, so please be patient. As you can see here, the extension is successfully added. Now open this extension by clicking on the Recovery Extension tool. The Chromebook Recovery Utility tool is opened. First make sure you take the backup of all the data which is stored on the selected USB drive, because during this process, the USB drive will be formatted. To create bootable USB drive, simply click on the gear icon, which is available at the top right corner. Now click on Use Local Image, and navigate to the location where you extracted the zip file of the Wayne OS. So this is the extracted file of Wayne OS. As you can see here, after extracting the zip file, the size of this file is becomes to 9 GB. So that's why I recommend you to select the Wayne OS release according to the USB size capacity. After selecting the file, simply click on Open. Now plugged in USB drive and select it. After selecting the USB drive, simply click on Continue. Click on Create Now. The image writing process has started. It will take some time, so please be patient. For me this process was take more than an hour, so I am going to fast forward the video. The image is copied, and the verification process has started, so don't close the Chromebook recovery utility, please be patient. The Chromebook bootable USB drive is ready to use, now simply click on Done. Restart your PC to boot into the Wayne OS bootable USB drive. Remember to press and hold escape key when the system is booting. Press F9 key to select boot device options. Now select UEFI USB drive and press enter key. Here select any image from the list and press enter key. As you press the enter key, the system is booting into the Wayne OS bootable USB drive. It will take some time for booting, so please wait. I fast forwarded the video to save the time. As you can see here, the Wayne OS welcome window is opened here. From here, you can select your desired language and keyboard layout. After selecting language and keyboard layout, simply click on OK. Now click on Let's Go. To proceed to the next step, the system must have to be connected to the internet, otherwise we are not able to proceed. Here we have to decide, who is going to use this PC, 
because the Wayne OS automatically configured for the selected purpose. If you want to use Wayne OS select this option. Otherwise if you are setting up for your children, then select a child option, it's your choice. After selecting, simply click on Next. If you want to access all the features of Wayne OS, then you must have to sign in using Gmail or email. Enter your email here, and click on Next. If you don't want to sign in, you can use the Wayne OS. To do that simply click on Browse as Guest. As you can see here, the system is successfully booted in Wayne OS. Now you can use Wayne OS. To open App Drawer, simply click on this circle and drag the slider to the upside. Here are some limitation. Because we are not signed into Wayne OS, we are browsing the Wayne OS as guest. So friends, if this video is helpful for you, then write your feedback in comment section, and also subscribe to my channel. Also check out this cool videos. To install another Android OS in your PC or the laptop without any data loss.